once you cut a tree for building and for making timbers for uh, fuel for wood fuel we are, we are going to make this our place to be a desert area which is not going to do well as with plants all along i want to believe that cutting down of trees has contributed to the little rain that we nowadays find. I also believe that the use of pollutants like uh, smoke from the vehicles and potion mills, smoke from several industries in the vicinity or in Kenya, are, commun are contributing immensely to the global warming. They have cut all the trees along this area so that there is no tall trees at all which can make the wind with the rain to stop here. That's the only effect the man has made in this place. We know that with the increase in livestock and increase in population, there is pressure on for our forests and it is widely wide known that there is too, too, too many people trying to encroach on our small forest areas. And as they do deforestation, the rivers are dry, and not only that, the, the soil erosion is increasing. This is my woodlot, part of it, part of the plot I make at this my home. I want it to be very dense with the trees, the trees I took from the tree nursery and brought them here to plant so that I may have trees in my home. It is for decoration also, it is for wood, and when I prune it, it will be for firewood. So I'll not be in a trouble while I want to cook my food. That's why I've already made my wood lot in this place. <laughs> Oh, the whole of it. Yeah. So Helen is saying she is also doing some uh, agroforest, so that uh, she can uh, it, these uh, fodder trees which she has planted along the, the the edge of the shamba will help also in feeding her goats. At the same time, it will bring that micro microclimate, which will bring uh, may be able to bring rain for. For the solution is the fact that we are doing this, we think that in five years time in each and every home if we can have a woodlot of which uh, somebody has already planted almost 1,000, we will have a great deal with, the, with having too much water, too much rain and the environment improvements will improve very much. We have also not been seeing investment in environment both from government and the private sector. So as much as we talk of climate mitigation and adaptation, we must see positive and deliberate move towards investment in the environment. I'll be cutting these trees, but once I cut one, I'll have to make sure that I plant four at that place. The moment I've already cut one because I cut to, in order to replace another one with, by planting the trees. So we have not seen whereby a farmer goes to a bank and says, I have one wake of trees. Can you lend me money on the basis of the trees I'm growing? Mostly they won't, they won't take that. So then the farmers are not, uh, they don't have in, in incentives. So there must be incentives to drive out, to convince a farmer that if you do this, you will cause a climate, uh, a positive climate change. We need to pressurize, we need to form into pressure groups to plant more trees, sustain the trees, and one arm, one of our arms, should be making noise to the government to pass laws which control po pollution.